I'm wearing the same shit that I wore last Saturday. All right, I'm a lot more burnt now. Uh, I didn't check my my inputs and outputs, man. Okay, everything's fine, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, everything's good. Do you see this? That was real, right? Ugh. Oh, my controllers are back. All right. Ugh. So it thinks. I think you can get that. And most beautiful tomb in all of ancient Egypt. It is home to the soul and Love spirit you. of Queen Nefertari, wife of Ramses the Great from Whoa. Egypt's 19th dynasty. Okay. Her tomb houses seven chambers. Nearly every surface was decorated with vibrant colors. Even the ceiling is illuminated with stars representing the heavens. Hold on. A star button. Queen Nefertari, unlike most queens, participated in civil and government matters, and her ability to read and write made her one of the oh, most gifted light. queens in ancient Egyptian history. That's the light. With one of the uh, most decorative tombs, it is clear to see that she oh. was made a living goddess during her lifetime. The walls are illustrated with scriptures from the ancient Egyptian Book of the Dead, ensuring the queen's safe passage to the afterlife. Although he is not pictured, Ramses the Great's love for the queen shines throughout her tomb with poetry engraved into walls of this beautiful sacred place. Upon discovery right. of this hidden wonder, uh, her sarcophagus uh, and mummy were stolen. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me start it. I need some frames. I need some frames in this baby. We'll keep, we'll keep recording going. We'll keep going. What's up, guys? How you doing? All right, I'm gonna try again. Just slow it down. Just whoa, curiosity stream. Just one more immersive experience in issue curiosity. Off the card VR. All right, there you go, guys. All right, so we're playing Nefertari, Journey to Eternity, a tomb scale VR experience. I don't know. I figured this would be pretty boss Nova. Alright. Uh, hi. We'll try that. Alright. Get my lantern. And most beautiful tomb in all of Still it is home to not the getting that many frames in some place. Wife of Ramses the Great from Egypt's 19th dynasty. What? Her tomb houses seven what chambers. is up with your Nearly frames, game? Ah, escape. 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 Okay. One more time for the one time. Frames are a thing. Frames are a thing. Frames are a thing. Uh -huh. Nice bass drop. Alright. <laughs> like it. We are about to enter the largest and most beautiful tomb in all of ancient Egypt. Yeah, but now the light is shit. But now it works. <laughs> Queen Nefertari, wife of Ramses the Great from Egypt's 19th dynasty. Her tomb houses seven chambers. Nearly every surface was decorated with vibrant colors. Even the ceiling is illuminated with stars representing the heavens. Queen Nefertari, unlike most queens, participated in civil and government matters, and her ability to read and write made her one of the most gifted oh, queens in ancient Egypt. I could have moved history. the whole time. 
With I... one of the most decorative tombs, it is clear what? to see that she was made a living goddess during her lifetime. The walls are illustrated with scriptures from the ancient Egyptian Book of the Dead, ensuring the queen's safe passage to the afterlife. Although he is not pictured, Ramses the Great's love for the queen shines throughout her tomb with poetry engraved into walls of this beautiful sacred place. Upon discovery of this hidden wonder, her sarcophagus and mummy were stolen along with other artifacts in the tomb. Even though her tomb is empty, it remains as one of the essential windows into the ancient past. As you explore through the tomb, you will encounter multiple paintings which offer additional information about the tomb and its inhabitants. Press the trigger on your left controller when the glowing grid appears around a painting to learn more about the gods and goddesses who guided the queen on her journey to the afterlife. All right. Oh, my God. It's making me sick. Can my computer really not handle this right now? Oh. What? On a wall? What? Oh. Oh, I understand now. Uh. What? Get out of here, cord! Ah! Get out! Yeah. Ah! No. <laughs> uh, don't go in that area. That area is all bad. Oh, okay. This is Osiris, the god of the dead and king of the underworld. Here, he is standing in a shrine with a roof. We know that it is Osiris because of the hieroglyphic inscription, but also because of his associated symbols. One of his most important symbols is his white crown with two feathers. Huh. What the fuck? Was that? Babe, did you hear that knocking sound? Oh, okay. Good. That's what I wanted you to say. This is Osiris, the god of the dead and king of the underworld. Here, he is standing in a shrine okay. with a roof. Wait now. We know that it is What's Osiris this? because of the hieroglyphic inscription, but also uh, because of his associated here. symbols. What are you One doing? One of his most important symbols is his white crown with two feathers. Why can't I see very well? What's going on with the tracking? I guess that's a little better. What, am I going more blind? Great. Wait, is this? This can't be the only tomb. This game's huge. Get out of here. What? <laughs> Gesundheit. Oh, uh, damn it. The seated figure on the left is the goddess Nephthys. You can tell by her head, which is made of two hieroglyphics. The top symbol, which looks like a bowl, means lady, and the bottom rectangular symbol means mansion. So she is the lady of the mansion. The next two figures are the sons of Horus. They are Kabisanuf, with the head of a falcon, and Happy with the head of a baboon. The sons of Horus are also the protectors of the mummy's internal organs. That is why their heads are seen on canopic jars. All right. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Huh. I know there's more. What? 
What does that do? What? I'm confused. Anyway. The painted black dog Whoa. is the beautiful image of the goddess Ma'anubis. Is the god is of mummification. Her protective wings. He protects the distance. Ah! Was the goddess of truth, Damn justice, it. and order? I just wanted to see the fire. Is usually identifiable by the feather she wears on her head. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> uh. Okay. QB65 is the tomb of Nefertari, great wife of Pharaoh Ramses H in Egypt's Valley of the Queens. Uh, he's called the Slap Time. Ah. Uh. Avatar means beautiful companion. His wife referred to her as the one for whom the sun shines. Aw. Avatar's tomb once held the mummified body and representative symbolisms of her. Now everything had been looted except for the 200 square feet of beautiful wall paintings. Everything you're seeing is exactly as it would have been over 3,000 years ago. That was 2018. Well, this is pretty, uh, pretty huge file size for. Wait, what? Right. This vulture is a manifestation of the goddess Nechbet. She is the goddess of Upper Egypt or Southern Egypt. In each one of her claws, she is holding a Shen symbol. A ring that symbolizes eternity and protection. All right. Ah. Uh. The seated figure is Osiris, the god of the dead and king of the underworld. His green skin represents fertility and rebirth. He wears a tight white garment representing mummification, and he's holding the crook and flail, which are symbols of kingship and leadership. All right. It is more. The figure in the middle has a ram's head and is tightly mummified in white cloth. This is both a representation of the sun god Ray and the god of the dead, Osiris. To his left is the goddess Nephthys, and to his right is the goddess Isis. They are associated with mummification, and that is why they are shown with this mummified god in Nefertari's tomb. Oh yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. I'm definitely liking this. I, I see the game was super huge, like I think like ten gigabytes. So I, I feel like it's more than just this area here. I feel like we're missing something. Maybe it's like a super secret. All right, so we went in those, didn't we? Ah, uh, I think that might be it. Oh, wow, I just noticed that. Huh. All right, I guess that's it for this one. That was definitely pretty sick. I definitely liked it. You know, I like I like pretty much everything. That was pretty cool. Did you like it? All right.
Well, thank you guys for watching another episode of Power Checking Plays. I'll see you when I make another one.